I had dual responses the first time I saw the piece. I both felt this childlike awe because it's so glittery and I like was attracted to the shine of it. Um, and then the, the scale, it forces you to look up at it. And I spent a lot of time standing in the shadow of this piece. Um, yeah, I really love this piece. So when I look at the three graces, I see my aunts and both blood and chosen, um, these femmes, these women, these like strong characters that we don't get to, we don't know much about their history, but they are solidly created. You know, they are like strong bodied, they are standing in their power and they are dressed to go out. But we don't know anything else about their lives from the artwork itself. But when I see it, I also think about like, what type of jobs are these people doing? Are they caretakers? Are they mothers? Are they lovers and partners to people? Like what, what are they doing when they're not dressed with their, with their hair done and their makeup done and standing with their, their other, their friends, their girls in this power pose? And then also in the background of the piece, we see this imagery that if you look, at least in my, when I look at it, I see it looks like safari. It looks has like a almost like an African type of essence to it that makes me wonder like, okay, like what past are we standing in? What present, what future? And because of the fractals, it makes them stand like they seem like they're standing in and out of time. It makes them literally feel timeless. And I look at them and they feel like people I know. Um, and they also like people I want to be. So I really believe that art and creativity and creation is our portal into shared humanity. It allows us to remember that we are connected to people across time and space. I have always been. I mean, we're still laughing at some of the same jokes that Shakespeare wrote hundreds of years ago. And, <laughs> you know, we're still slow dancing to songs that our parents and grandparents slow dance to. So I think that Art is, is time travel technology, and we really need some time travel technology right now. I also think that this is the moment for all of us, for us to both deprofessionalize the definition of artist. Everyone should be trying to tap into their creativity because it just, it makes us feel better. It actually does something to our bodies and we need that emotional immunity right now. And at the same time, we need to be supporting our service workers and that includes and gig workers and that includes artists so if for anyone who's like enjoying their netflix or their reading or doing anything like how can we remember this moment and make sure that artists and the people who create work that we consume are supported in this time and beyond it because i this is really going to shift so many of our industries um, and we're going to continue to call on artists when the times are hard and when they're not <laughs>